Good morning, happy Monday. If you're watching this and it is a weekend and you have been putting off planning your week, plan your week before the week starts. I promise you, you will feel so much better because that was me last night. I was like, meh, I need to plan my week, but do I really care? Not really. So I didn't plan my week. Now it is Monday morning. It is 8.45 and I just don't even know what I need to be doing right now. So the only thing I truly know is that I have a client call, a little presentation at 11, which I'm honestly kind of nervous about. And I'm also extremely, extremely behind on another one of my client's work. So I'm going to have a busy day, but I want to write out what my focus is. I'm just opening all the blinds in the apartment because I feel so much better when it's nice and bright and airy in here. But we are going to now plan our week even though it's already Monday which some people actually prefer planning Monday mornings I personally prefer to plan Sunday night because then I'm not constantly spazzing throughout the night on Sunday or Monday morning and I know like what needs to happen so we're gonna plan our week and then I will tell you guys what we got going on today is this not plugged in Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like so dark today. I don't know why it's like really dark over here, but okay. I planned out my week with the things I know I have to get done. It's not exactly probably everything by any means and I'm not getting too dramatic with it, but I at least scheduled out today. I also really want to go through this list that I had made of all my to-do items for each of my clients from before I took some time off to see, cause some things I had like pushed to next week and was like, oh, I'll do that later. So I want to kind of look back into that and see what I'm missing. But I think most of it is actually already showing on my current calendar. So anyways, today the plan is that I need to prepare for that branding presentation that I have at 11 a.m. It's currently nine, so I have two hours and it's mostly done and created. I just want to kind of run through the presentation again, get it all into one place because I kind of have like multiple presentation files and I want them all in one. So it's really easy to show the client. And then I have the call at 11. But before that, I think what I want to do, because I know this isn't gonna take me that long to finalize the presentation is I want to do some YouTube content planning and figure out my content schedule for the month and actually plan my videos out a little bit. Just kind of get back into the swing of it and get excited again. After my call, I want to do some coding. So I really need to code for my one client that I'm always coding for. So I have a call with them tomorrow at like 10 or 11. So we haven't fully hammered it down because we scheduled it last week. So I want to get some coding done. If I finish content planning before my call, I'm going to code as well. And then I have the chiropractor, which I want to go to just at some point before I go to Ariel tonight. I have Ariel at 6 p.m. I'm going to hammock or sling tonight, so I'm not doing silk. And I will talk more about Ariel later this week because I have started at a new studio, which is really fun. But I have that class tonight at an old studio that I use for cl on class pass that I go to. So that is the plan. We should be definitely fine to get all of that done. I do have a client that usually has emergency items. So we'll see if I have stuff to do for that. I would also like to give her a call and chat with her, but we'll see if we get to that today. So that's the one where I need to kind of make some adjustments. So we'll see how that goes and if I get a chance to talk with her. But yeah, that's, that's the plan for this week. So I'm gonna get into this branding presentation and then I will actually show it to you guys because. I think that'll be really fun to kind of give you a look into it and start showing you guys my work more because I don't know why I don't do that. I was actually speaking with, not speaking with, I was watching Alice's videos, my editor, and I'll link her channel down in the description, but I was watching some of her videos and she like shows all of her work because she's also a freelancer. And I was like, why do I not show my work? I'm a freelancer, so for most clients I can. There's some that I probably wouldn't, but a lot of clients I can share what I'm doing, at least to an extent, like I can share a little bit. So, so I want to show you guys that and and then we'll see how YouTube content planning goes. Okay, so just worked on the presentation that I wanna show to the client and just kind of putting it in a really easy to see format. Alice really helped pull together all of the branding and we send them over. She basically creates this branding guide that we can share with them. But since I'm doing this like during the call, I wanted to make it in kind of like a just literally super straightforward presentation style that I can show them. So I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like really quick, which basically I just pulled from Alice's branding guide and just put it in slides. So we 
have the fonts, we have the colors and the explanation, the color combinations, the mood board, some icons that would be used, and then a sample of it. And then I did a few different options that Alice had pulled together and I put them all in the presentation. So that's basically what I did so that I can easily kind of run through it with them during the call and then get their real-time feedback so that we can hopefully come to a conclusion with branding because they're a little unsure exactly of what they want, it seems like. So hopefully this is helpful to kind of do a session together. Usually I just have a session where I ask them questions and have them show me samples of other websites they like and things like that. And that usually is enough, but this client specifically, it seems like they need a little bit more of a kind of a brainstorming session with me where we look at the examples and kind of talk through what they're looking for. So that's the plan for that. So super excited to get that hammered down because Alice has been working on the site and it would be great to actually have the colors and branding of what it's going to look like to kind of start pulling through. And then I'm going to be kind of reviewing the flow of the site as well as the copy that the client provided. This client actually wrote the copy themselves. A lot of times I write the copy for the clients, but they provided the copy. So I want to kind of go through it and give suggestions from my opinion. They are using the story brand framework to build out their site and write their copy. So I want to like use my knowledge and background to give any recommendations for what that should look like and any changes to make for the layout and copy. So that's the plan for the site. I'm really excited to pull this all together. I exported the PDF so I can share it with them afterward. I usually would share things before a call, but I really, especially because this actually is my first client that is multiple people. Usually I work with solopreneurs and so it's a lot easier to get feedback because it's just one person. But since this is two women that are working together and partnering to create this business, I found that they kind of have varying opinions on what they want things to look like or how they want to structure things. So it actually is really helpful if I can get them on a call and have them react to things live at the same time, because I find that then I can get both perspectives, which helps me to see what needs to be pulled through. Because a lot of times I'll hear from one of them and not the other one, and then I'll kind of make adjustments to whatever I'm working on. I've been working with this client for, I don't know, five months now on like little projects here and there, and now we're doing their website design. So I kind of have like that background knowledge of, of how it's best to work with them. And I probably should have been aware of that whenever we first did the branding guide and considered that, but I just was going along with what we normally do. So totally fine though. I think this is going to be a good call and this one has been kind of stressing me out. So I think I will feel relieved once this call is over, but I am going to now make something to eat because I want to take some medicine before this call because I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache in the back of my head and a little bit dizzy. So where did I put them? Oh yeah. So last night I made these what is it called? Snickerdoodle baked oats. And they actually came out super good. So I want to show you guys, but it was very simple. I just blended all the ingredients in the blender and then popped it in the oven for like 25 minutes. And this is how it came out. It was super, super yummy. So I think I'm just going to microwave this because it was pretty much like a muffin consistency. And then I might pop it out and put some maple syrup on it because it's not super duper sweet. Yesterday I put honey and I feel like syrup would be even better. So good. This juice shot is making me want to gag. I think it has, yep, habanero pepper juice and ginger. Ooh, it's passion fruit, pineapple, lime, and then ginger and habanero pepper. Oh my gosh. My problem is I don't take them as a shot, I like sip on them. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. Oh, okay. Anyways, it is now 9.50 and I think what I want to do, cause my hair is just like bugging me cause I like didn't handle it well when it was wet last night after I showered. So I think I'm gonna like do my hair a little bit and just make it look a little bit better. Maybe just put on some mascara and that's it. And then get back to work because I just feel like getting ready a little bit more for the day. I picked up my outfit yesterday, which this is like the most basic outfit ever. It's literally like flared leggings, AKA yoga pants for Gen Z and just like a white top. Very, very, very basic, but 
I actually bought these pants like a month and a half ago from Aerie online and I decided I was gonna return them because I was just like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. And then I still had not returned them and I'm pretty sure January 31st was the date I had to return them by. Maybe it was February 31st or can't be February 31st. Maybe this was the end of February, but I think it was January 31st. So I just decided to keep them. They are really comfortable but there's another pair of leggings that I was gonna return to, which if I hadn't had both pairs of pants, I probably just would've kept these and called it a day. But since there was two I didn't like out of the four I bought, I was like, I'll return half. And now here we are with both, and I guess I'm gonna keep the leggings too. So I'm gonna try to wear them tonight to Ariel and see what I think, but I should never buy things online because I get lazy and don't do anything about it. So let's decide. I think for my hair, I'm just gonna straighten it and then I'm gonna just put on maybe, maybe even a little concealer. My eyes are looking, blue and not on the inside on the outside five minute get ready all right let's get back to work i just came, <laughs> i'm like dying laughing i just came to sit down and this was literally like this and i like yanked the blanket and grabbed boba by accident because i didn't know she was in here sleeping what are you doing in here i think she's mad at me now but i have to sit there boba you're gonna have to move she always gets so triggered whenever i move her from a spot right. look i'm gonna have to sit there all right, I'm gonna have to sit there though, so I'm just gonna sit in front of you. Sorry. I'm really gonna decorate this wall because this is just, this is not the view. Just got off a call with one of my clients. I also really quickly ended up doing a task for another one of my clients that usually is done on Fridays, but we didn't get it done because I was waiting on her. So she sent me the okay to go get it done. So I sent those emails out for her. And now I have about five minutes until my presentation. So I am just kind of chilling here, taking a breather and preparing myself mentally. And I, what else did I do? I didn't even get into my YouTube content calendar. So maybe I'll do that after this. So it's kind of like a decompress because I do enjoy doing that. I think I'm gonna finish this call. Then we're gonna make a matcha, AKA a magic mind. And I'm like obsessed with the new formula. It's like so good. I can't stop drinking it. I want to drink like multiple in a day, which I know I can't do. So I'm just trying to stick to one on the weekdays. And then I think I'm gonna go outside and like sit outside by the pool maybe for a little bit and go sit in the hammocks or something, which I've been trying to do more often and just like utilize my apartment's like shared space as well as just get fresh air every day, or maybe I'll go for a walk. I haven't decided. I'm trying to do just 5,000 steps every day instead of 10,000, which I feel like is what people normally do because I also am working out multiple times a week. And although yeah, 10,000 steps would be great. I feel like if I just start with 5,000 a day, then I can see that it's possible and work my way up to 10,000. I just want to see like how much I would need to walk to hit 5,000 every day. So we're going to do that. So maybe we'll go for a walk instead because I do have Ariel tonight. So it's not like I'm going to be walking later and then we will continue on with our day but yeah i feel like after this call is over i'm gonna feel way better but the only thing that's annoying is boba has decided she literally has to stay sitting behind me so i am like it's forcing me to have good posture i guess but i look like so close to the camera here so i need to like push this back but let's go do this call i really have to pee actually so i'm gonna go pee and then we'll knock this out of the park hello Make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. I know you're feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from hell. 
I just got home and got off the phone with my mom. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. Every time I go to the chiropractor, if you ever go, you'll know what I mean. But afterwards, I always feel like super weird, like lots of weird movements in my body. I can open my mouth like way wider than I could just a few days ago, so that's really good. Although now I have like clicking on this side of my face, but again, I think it's just because I'm able <laughs> to actually open my jaw wider. I'm actually noticing the click before like this side felt so tight. It felt like I could like only go to like there and then it started feeling weird, but like now I can open it much better. But now I'm just like, geez, my shoulder feels so weird. Anyways, it's just from all the movement, but it's all good movements, getting things in alignment. So that was really nice. I always feel so much more just like lighter afterwards. Like I feel like, all this tension is released from my body after I go. So very happy that I was able to get that in. And I already finished my matcha. I literally chugged that thing. It was so good. I always love matcha from Light on the Sugar. That place is so good. And now I'm gonna try to get some work done. It's already 4.30. So I only have about 40 minutes until I have to go to my aerial class because the traffic is really bad and I have to be there at six. So I have to leave super duper early, but I think that'll be really relaxing. I mean, it's not relaxing, it's really hard work, but it'll be, you know, good work to put in to feel better. I've only walked about 2,800 steps. So I still have another 2,200 I need to walk, but I guess I'll just walk those after Ariel because yeah, I don't really have any other time and I really need to get some work done. I've just been not doing, not doing what I need to do. I just keep getting pulled in way too many different directions, but let's transition over here. But I've been a little AWOL today for like the majority of the afternoon because I was able to have the convo with one of my clients that I've been dreading, which was just saying that it's too much for me right now and I need to take a step back and lower the amount of time I'm spending on this client. So I did have that conversation and it actually ended up going really well. So I'm feeling a lot more like less stress, <laughs> not more stress, less stress since I had the convo. And yeah, I don't know. It felt like I was like quitting another nine to five job for some reason. So we'll talk about it more in the future. But the good thing is I'm on the same page with her and we're gonna work to transition me out. So there's movement, which already feels a lot better. And I know that that is what's causing a ton of my stress and like a ton of the tension that I'm feeling in my body. So I'm feeling better already knowing that that is at least making progress to being done. Um, Boba is ready to EAT. I'm not going to say the word because she knows it, but I always tell her that she has to wait until 5 p.m. So not yet. Later, Boba. I tell her later. And I think she's starting to understand the word, but probably not. She's already currently chasing me over here to attack me. <sighs> I turned on some peaceful piano music and I'm going to hopefully at least get a little bit of this coding done because I've just been like not able to get into it. And the other thing that the chiropractor told me is that he can tell that my hips are all out of alignment and I'm sure a big component, well, he said he's, he's sure a big component of that is the way I'm sitting at my desk. Um, you know, I'm sure Ariel has a lot to do with pieces of this as well, but I keep going because I'm addicted. So I just have to figure out other ways to make it work. But I don't know, eventually I might need to get like an ergonomic desk chair because this one is like the worst chair ever. It ends up with me like slouching back and like all twisted up and having my legs up and I need to be like sitting, sitting up straight when I'm sitting at my desk because I do sit here a lot. So that is something I need to work on in the future. So we'll get to that, but let me go get some coding done and then we'll head to Ariel. Oliver's on the way home. I always love having his location. Sorry if you think that's cringe, but I like to just know he's on the way home from work. It makes me feel better and be excited because otherwise I'd be like, oh, he's not getting off till like five and then I'm gonna have to wait for him to get home. But now I know he's already on the way. So I'm about to have positive vibes in the next 10 minutes and then I can push through another 20 minutes of work. Oh, well, I was gonna show you guys Boba rolling around on the floor, but she saw me looking at her and now she's here. Taking you in this moment, come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it.
Everybody else is a beginner I don't want to talk, you have to live her Don't worry about me cause I'm a giver Daddy, I'll do anything Just finished Silk's Well, I was at Sweet Sling Where's my brain is malfunctioning Hammock, whatever you want to call it But it was a really good class I had a really good time I haven't been to a hammock sling class in weeks maybe a month even at this point I've only been doing silk so it was really fun to go to a sling class which I keep debating getting a membership at this other studio too that specifically does sling and hammock and then have my membership at the silk studio and I'm very tempted and then I could just potentially cancel my class pass membership so I don't know that made me really want to do that because I really like going and that studio only does sling every other week anyways I am actually pretty hungry now and I'm craving a smoothie so I'm going to go home and get not get but make a smoothie I'm gonna make my collagen spirulina smoothie it's so 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 good I'm mimicking it from a smoothie from Soho juice co or something so I'm going to make that maybe eat something else with it I haven't decided if I really want anything else and then honestly just get ready for bed because I am exhausted from this day. It was just such a draining day and I've been dealing with work emails since I got out of my class and did you notice how I just called it work as well, not client, because I basically am working for this one client as a job. So yeah, I need to very much change things up and I was just learning about this concept called quiet hiring which is basically what kind of happened with this position. So that's very interesting. One of uh, you actually, Adrian told me about this. He was emailing me about it. So yeah, very interesting that I think I was accidentally quiet hired, as in accidentally on my end, I didn't realize I was being quiet hired, but I was. Um, so here we are, but you can always get out of a quiet hiring by just not working there anymore, AKA quitting but that feels like a dramatic phrase right now so anyways I am relieved that the conversation was had today still don't feel fully relieved yet my jaw is feeling very tight and I just want to go home and go the heck to bed but I am going to do all of my wind down ish routines that I've been doing with my jaw so I'm going to do my ear oil drops, I'm gonna be doing my steam, I'm gonna do a sinus rinse, I'm doing everything, because my ears have been giving me some sharp pains today too. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to lessen my pain, and I don't think I'm gonna take my prescription medicine tonight because, I don't know, I just feel like it really doesn't do that much and I don't really wanna be taking it. So I think I'm gonna stop taking that and just take a sinus headache medication instead tonight that's just over the counter, so that's the plan. I will show you guys my smoothie when I get home because it's so yummy and yeah. Now my instant ramen because I'm lazy but I put some cheese on top for some extra protein. A little baby bell. Oops I just spilled it. And I have my smoothie which is looking real green but it is so good. I'm gonna eat and drink these and watch a little k-drama probably. Have you guys seen my new dresser? That's my new dress. I got it off Facebook Marketplace and I am obsessed with it. I don't know what k-drama to watch. I think I'm gonna watch Crash Course in Romance or On Romance or whatever. I started it last night so I'm gonna keep watching that and call it a night.